or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and I'm really happy you're here. Today I'm going to give you an updated island tour. I haven't made one in a while just because I haven't had the time to play and because of that I didn't really have any progress to show you. But um, now I do. So, I'm really excited to show you around. Because it's been so long, I do not really know what has changed much. But I think I kind of cleaned up these areas around here, made them a little bit more autumnal. the campsite I just added the leaf campfire here that's it but I think it, it's so nice now that the that the bushes are blooming I was looking forward to that for so long and I replaced the green leaf piles with yellow leaf piles I think they're going to look so cute once the grass actually turned yellow as well I don't really hate the current color but it's definitely not my favorite Here is Vesta's house. I gave all my villagers little wreaths or door plates. So they all have decorated doors now. And I thought the pencil wreath was just so cute. I'm not really sure about this bench yet. I had um, a hacked item here before, but of course that disappeared with your new update. I mean, I kind of expected that would happen one day, so I'm not that disappointed. But I'm still not sure what kind of bench to put here. I don't really like the garden bench that I considered. I already have an iron bench. And I think that's about the benches in this game. Oh no. So going down here is, of course, the rest of the entrance and the plaza. I'm trying to give Billy a gift, but he won't budge. So down here is the forest, of course. He can't wait to craft some more spooky items and then spookify this entire area. I'm really looking forward to that. And actually my pumpkins grew today, so I can finally make it. I made a video, I made a speed build of this forest. My beaches are still very empty, I'm going to do those last. Um, I made a speed build of this forest, I'll just link it so you can watch it if you're interested. It was a lot of fun to make. You can go into the tent. So what I have in mind for this character who lives here is just that they're sort of a hermit. They're kind of alone. And they like being alone. They like studying and spending the days in solitude. Reading about books. Discovering new things cooking food over a campfire, stuff like that. I'm trying to grow a pumpkin here because this is kind of a recycling compost area um, and my grandma has been planting pumpkins on her compost on her composting piles. So I wanted to do that too. <laughs> I didn't really change anything about Billy's farm. I still really love the way that it looks. And all the weeds have finally grown fully. I just think this this looks really cute. So I'm, so I'm going to keep it like this.
Then up here is Nook's Cranny. Um, I think these decorations are just su super cute. Anywho, there hasn't really been a change either. I think I exchanged this pattern. I just wanted a fresh kind of look and I thought this one was really cute. It's by the same designer. Of course, link below in the description like all my designs. Back here is also kind of a forest. I just wanted to have something to fill the space. Um, but I think it looks really cute now. I, I think I unintentionally went for a bit of a kid core theme. But I'm really happy with it. I love the, the wind turbines and the pocket camp campers, the bear. And back here is some more little background scenery, it's just what I would call it. So here's Nala's house, aka the post office. I'm not too satisfied with it. I don't really know what to change with it. I changed the flooring. I had I had the dark dirt path here before, but I think the wooden deck suits it a lot better. But for the other part, I feel like it's not done yet. There should be more, but I just can't think of what is missing. But also, I'm not, not sure if I'm going to keep Melba since she just gave me her photo yesterday. And I've had her for quite a while now, so I might move her out for someone else. I'm just not sure yet who. Maybe Nan or Kiki. And this is my house. Um, there's not much to say about it. I'm really bad at interior decorating, so I hope that one day I can give a house tour. But I really don't have a lot of confidence in myself in that aspect. And I put this little workbench here just because it's convenient. And back here I'm creating a graveyard. And I'm also planting some pumpkins here to add to the, the kind of spooky atmosphere of the graveyard. Of course, I want to add some spooky furniture items here as well. I think that would be a lot of fun. But I just made this two days ago, or yesterday even, so it's not grown yet, it's not perfect yet. But this was kind of inspired by graveyards and other kind of areas in islands or in coastal towns where the land sort of breaks off into the into the into the sea. That's what inspired this. I don't really I wasn't really sure how to get that specific atmosphere across so I tried my best. I'm not really satisfied with it yet though. And oh, Dobby's standing. I can give him a gift. Yay. I really want to get his photos off. But I'm in no hurry because he's never leaving my island. And here's just Pecan's bakery again. I keep changing out these cabinets and shelves because I'm just never happy with them. It's so bad. I should really make my own. Oh, and I changed the counter here because it just didn't work that well anymore with the wooden deck. Before that I had the light dirt path, so I changed some of the colors. Yeah, but that's it. Changed the fencing. Down here is just, just a little picnic area. Really, I really like it, I think it's really cute. So I'm probably not changing that for a while. 
How did he get here so fast? Ooh. Um, here's Able Sisters, of course. I'm still really satisfied with it. I'm one year longer now than that I had my previous item before I flattened, and I'm not even considering flattening again, so. You know, if you consider flattening your island and you're just like, oh, but I will grow to hate it again and then I will want to flatten and just try everything again. I don't feel that way at all. I think that building everything from the ground up is really a good opportunity and a good way to just let your creativity flow. And here's my first, no, my second Jacob's Ladder. I finally reached five stars a few days back. Uh, yeah, so I've been managing to maintain that rating and I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm really just keeping the rating for the Jacob's Ladders, otherwise I would just scattered lost items and mushrooms everywhere. Here's still the Bear Cafe. You can barely see this one. Can I? This needs to be fixed right now. Maybe if we put it... If we put it there... Well now I can't go anywhere. that again. Does it look better? It's kind of cute to have the feet poke out like, like that. I like it. I'm just going to keep it like that. Maybe change it later. Yeah. Not much change here. However, down there, that's like my biggest part. Like not here, the my biggest change, I mean, this is still the museum. I added this little pier, just saw it on Twitter, someone do this. So I had to kind of experiment with it. And I think it looks really cute. So you can have like a lookout spot over the lake and the museum. Um, this is just like the beginning of when I'm trying to um, reform all the flowers that I have and kind of change them into more colorful flowers. Yeah. I want to do this with, with all my flowers. I just haven't really gotten the time for that yet. I haven't. Yeah, because it's a lot of work and I also don't really have enough hybrid flowers. I, I made a farm actually for my hybrid flowers. That's how committed I am to that now. <laughs> I want to have a more colorful island. Here's still the train station. He added li this little thing just because I think it looks very cute. Um, I added this flower card. Oh, look at her! Oh, so cute. This is Pippi's house. I think I'm going to change this door plate or this wreath. I think there's something cuter that I could put here. I think that skull is not really appropriate for this environment that I've made her. <laughs> Anywho, um, this is supposed to look like a ski lift in the summer and this like a ski slope. With a, I mean obviously it won't really look like a ski slope with the rocks and everything that would be very dangerous. But I think it kind of conveys the idea. I hope so, at least. I really am excited to look at it in winter. I really look forward to it. It's still months away, but I am super excited for how it's going to look. Um, here's my pumpkins. They grew just today and I let them here so I could show you. <laughs> and then here's the flowers. Uh, the sunflower field. This is just yellow pansies, but I think it looks like a sunflower field. It's pretty boring. I wanted it to be a lot cuter and more exciting. 
so I just wish they added actual sunflowers but a girl can't have everything so here's more pumpkins I'm going to harvest them all and then make some spooky items I really want to make the spooky arch and the fence not sure what spooky DIYs I have yet ah here and this one of course this needs to be made as well and yeah this is my hybrid garden my hybrid farm I'm trying to make well yellow and red roses oh no I mean I have yellow and red roses to make orange roses and and I have yellow and red pansies to make orange pansies I just think the yellow pansies look very cute in fall but the orange pants uh, the red pansies look just a teeny bit too <laughs> too red they're not very fallish and I think these are just very cute and I wanted to have some more blue flowers as well um, so I'm making blue pansies and I have a bunch of blue hyacinths also one day in the future I would really like to have purple pansies. Oh Deirdre and Pippi are having a conversation. Um, anyway, here's my roses. I'm going to make purple roses just for the Halloween-y feel. But I've been trying for days and not a single purple one has spawned so I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> um, here's my hyacinths. Again, I'm trying to make them orange because I have a bunch of blue ones already. So here's my lilies. I'm trying to make orange lilies. Um, as you can see, I've been a little bit successful so far, but these are my true successes, my cosmos. I want to have, yeah, like orange and black cosmos as well. So I'm planting all the orange cosmos that I already have together in hopes that it will uh, created black cosmos. I haven't watered them yet today because this is the first time I'm playing today. <laughs> I usually water my flowers in the evening um, and that's also where I'm going to harvest my pumpkins but I just left everything the way that it was so I could make this video. And here's my mom. So far I have two green moms which I'm very proud of. So down here is a flower dump just for for all my flowers that I already have that I'm not going to use for breeding anymore. It's nothing really spectacular. I'm going to start replanting those flowers to make my island more colorful soon. It's on the top of my list. I really want to do it soon just because I think it's going to look so cute and fall. And well down here is still a largely empty area and Punchy's house finally got around to decorating it. So he of course has the pirate door plate because it just fits very well with his theme. And I tried to plant some weeds here. I hope they grow a lot bigger. To look a bit like, well, like beach weeds or beach grass, you know. Well, he kind of is a fisherman or the, the lighthouse keeper. I really like putting the lighthouse next to it. Maybe we should go back up here again. Um. I'm not going to show you the interior of this house because it's very bad and it's a bit embarrassing. So let's go back and let's go up here. This is where I put Deirdre's house. And I think this is so cute. I'm very happy with how it came out. It's just a small hidden cottage on top of the mountain. She doesn't really have much out here, just a spot to, to have some hot drinks. I just think it's super cute. 
I'm really happy with how it's come out. She's just, you know, tucked away and put hidden away. Very cozy. And this has been almost it. There's still one more thing. And that's like my biggest problem issue. <laughs> it's Julie's house. I made this kind of path down here. And I think it's a cute idea. It just isn't perfect yet. Um... But yeah, this is Judy's house. I have a lot of pink and purple hybrids, so I wasn't sure where to put them. So I put them here and I thought it would be cute with Judy's house, but I just feel it's so out of... It's just really not my aesthetic and not really what I like. So what I'm going to do, I think, is try to give these hybrids away or... Um, sell them maybe even. I'm going to keep the purple hyacinths for hyacinth lamps. And I think you need the pink cosmos for the cosmos shower. But aside from that, I think I'm going to get rid of them all. They're mostly made by accident, especially the pink mums and the purple mums when I was trying to make green mums. <laughs> So this is the failed byproduct of those. Yeah, I just don't really have any purpose for them. And I don't really have any sort of inspiration for Judy's house. So I might also replace her as soon as I get her photo. I will move her out for another villager. Maybe Timbra, maybe Chevre. Not sure yet. Well, thank you so much for spending your time with me. For checking out my new, I oh know my new, but yeah, my, my island update. Um, I hope you're having a good day and you're taking care of yourself and everyone else around you. Um, thanks so much for watching. Maybe like or like this video, maybe subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Um, we also have a Discord server, it's in the description that you can join if you want to. And I'll see you next time. Take care.